I'm a very young man, but one thing I do know... Go on. Just Go a on. second, I'm just doing the introduction to my show here. All right. I do know it's critical for us as Aboriginal people to listen to our elders. If we care at all about keeping our traditions alive, then we need to learn about the past, and that means listening to the wisdom of the elders. Now, what were you trying to say? Uh, your syrup is spilling. Oh. That's what you're trying to tell me? Yes. Wow. Well, there's a lesson here. I just wish I knew what it was. I'm Don Kelly. And I'm what you call an urban native, a city-raised, office-bound Ojibwe. But I can't help hearing a call, a call from my elders telling me it's time to rediscover the old ways and get back to the land. Hello? Hello? Normally they're very fast here. Hello? Hello and welcome to Fish Out of Water. I've been traveling across the country, visiting different Aboriginal communities, and one thing that constantly amazes me is the knowledge our elders possess. I wish we could bottle this wisdom because there's so much to learn from them. So, listen up, because we have a heap of elders who are gonna try to pound some knowledge into my thick skull, and if they can get through to me, they can get through to anybody. And that means you, Cameron, and Cheryl, and Sharon, and Mackenzie. <sighs> okay. Okay, Don, bring the canoe back in. I'm gonna show you how to launch it properly. Okay. We'll bring it back up. I stayed dry, I was floating. Okay, when you're launching the canoe, just slide it down. Grab it from the front, okay. Easy. Oh, I see. You're doing the uh, the parallel launch, we call it. I should have gotten into it sideways. Yeah. And you always sit up here. You never sit on the seat. Okay. When you're when you're when you're solo. Yeah. If it's really rough, rougher, you could tip right over. One thigh against each side. Yeah. yeah. Shove it out. There. That's better. That's where it feels more stable. That's for sure. We're gonna go out, and I'm gonna show you some some techniques, some paddling techniques. Whoa. This is how we paddle. Okay. See? Like this? Yeah. Wow, I'm getting yeah. hang of this, I think. This is crossover. Okay, so you keep the same grip, you just yeah. cross it over? Yeah. I'm just pretend there's a rock there, okay? You're gonna say, rock. There is there is a rock, rock! Okay, cross over, cross over. Cross over, holy moly. Cross over, back okay, back up. up, back up. So it stays against the, uh, the yeah. canoe, and you just kind of do one of these things? What do you call that again? Side stroke. Side stroke. Yeah. I actually mastered all the essential strokes in my college days, so. Just pretend we're going up a rapid chair. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, go. I'm getting dizzy here. Do one of these? No, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I'm gonna be a pretzel after this. No, you see the way you're holding your paddle? That's not right. We'll do something else. Yeah, I'm not you're not <laughs> oh, gonna no. get this. I gotta learn this stuff. <laughs> you're pulling away from the rocks. Oh, I'm crossing over and pulling away. Yeah. I was see, crossing over and paddling. Yeah. That's a big mistake. And then I do like that. Yeah, you're doing it right. I'm crossing over. Just paddle very gently. Now that yeah. I can do. You're doing awesome. You're Algonquin. How do you feel when you get out on the water? I feel good. I'm home. I'm home when I'm on the river. Some people ride a horse. This is what I like doing. Teacher, what are you doing? Huh? Um, saving the height. <laughs> Feels yeah. wet and spongy. I know it is. It's got to be spongy and wet. And these wonderful bugs it attracts as well. Oh, I'm getting a little better. What are all these other people doing here, Minnie? Well, they're just learn, trying to learn. How long is this whole process going to take of tanning a hide? If we finish cutting these two hides here off today, tomorrow we should be scraping it, and yeah, we should be tanning it next day, two days. So two days, yeah, two days from two days. now? Yeah. So three days in total. Mm -hmm. Three days. So Minnie, I'm trying to give you moral support at this point, but uh, should I just go sit down with the rest of the class? <laughs> I 
I may as well go sit down. <laughs> okay. You know this is gonna take three days, Tam, this hide? It takes three days. Coming up, when good hides go bad. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the second nastiest thing I've had squirt in my face in my life. Looks like I've got you. Booyah! Don, we're playing chess. Lucky for you. <laughs> oh, hi, and welcome back to Fish Out of Water. I'm Don, this is Mark, and we're hanging out and trading stories about elders, and I am having a great time. Now, Mark, did you know that you can actually eat stuff from out in the wild? Yes. You knew that? That is amazing. That's, that's what I love about you elders. You, you know stuff. <laughs> Best two out of three? Sure. Here's food for you. It's a dandelion, George. I've seen those it's back foods. in uh, back at my place. It's food. It's food. <laughs> not that That's part. That's food. This, that, not that part. This part. Okay, I got an idea. Why don't, why don't you try it first this time? <laughs> Now, do you, act, do you really eat this? Uh, like, yeah. you make salads out of this? Or? Salads, or you put it in sandwiches. This is not bad, but what else do you have out here? Oh, there's lots of stuff. There you are. You're saying this is food? Yeah. It's got stuff in it. And when, what is this? Moss. Just moss? Yeah. It's a little like eating hair at first. I have to try that. <laughs> I don't think I've tried it. I think I'll have mine steamed next time. Okay. Here's some food for you. More food, huh? Okay, I'll, I'll give it a try. Onion. Yeah, wild onions. Do the shoe swap, traditionally, did they deep fry things? No. Because everything's better when you deep fry it. Oh. I'm not sure exactly what this is, George, but this looks good. Go ahead. Tastes like weak salt. Yeah, soda salt. Soda salt. Yeah. That is salt. Wow. We've got our veggies, we've got our seasonings. Yeah. Does the shishmop have anything for it? Like, it's like Viagra. Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah. Because I got a... Yeah. A friend of mine. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. A friend of mine says to pick some up. If he yeah. Sees. Okay. Well, that's great. Go ahead, please. <laughs> that works as a laxative too, you know. We should, we should probably be getting back to camp. <laughs> Let's get back to camp. Okay. Well, welcome back to Tanning Hides with Shoe Swap Elder Minnie Phillips. We are in, I believe, day. 17 of what is apparently a 14-year process. So we're gonna check in. I'm gonna see if I can help out, maybe move things along a little bit. Now, what, what do I need to do here? Well, I got a bunch of rope. What should I be doing? You come under. Under here? Yeah, over, over, and over. 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 Yeah. So I gotta pull the rope again? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what are we trying to do here, actually? No, 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 you're going to the wrong. This is the one you gotta follow, you know? <laughs> okay, I thought I was doing good, now you confused me. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're gonna like thread the needle yeah, here. Thread the needle. Do I pull this one over? Yeah. Or under? Okay, what happened here? Did you make a huge mistake? Maybe I think I made a huge mistake. <laughs> I've got my ropes around both both frames, is that right? Oh yeah, right. Gee. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Ojibwe. Well, we send our uh, hides out to get done for us. Is the idea to, to stretch it, Minnie? Yeah, yeah. It's getting dry fast if we don't get it wrong. Somebody should be pounding on it right now. Pounding it? Yeah. I can do that. Now, what do I do? You want me to start whacking you away on it? Start whacking away on it because okay. it's getting dry. No. There's. Like what? this. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said to oh, hit it. You said to hit it. <laughs> now, look, see? Now, look what you did. I had the right style. So, just like this. There. Anytime you need someone to be doing that, you let me know. 
But Minnie, you have been great. Uh -huh. We're going to see this if we can uh, sometime yeah. soon. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you very much yeah. for all the work you've done yeah. thank you, thank and for letting me take a few shots <laughs> at the bane of my existence, that high thing. <laughs> Carry on, as you were. Union yeah. break in one hour. <laughs> We're going to be making baskets. Basket weaving? Uh, this is a girl's size basket. Now, why, why do you have me making a girl's size basket? Is, <laughs> have they told you something about me? <laughs> uh, first, before we even do anything, we have to learn how to split the roots. Okay. You split it in fours, eh? Fours. And just... Oh, look, it peels like a banana. It's all in the fingers, eh? Oh yeah, you can see it uh, just splits right in half. Am I in danger of gonna snap this off and then will I ruin it? Well, uh, they always say if you have a pure mind, oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, maybe you should finish this one. <laughs> okay, this cuts very easily. Don't do it too hard or else it'll come right off. Okay. See, yes. and this is the one you grab. Usually I just give it a I kind of like it when you do that little. A lot of people say you learn your own songs while they're doing your basket. <laughs> do you ever sing your own songs? Oh, yes. I I hear them elders say, Cannabis, la cha cha, you know, where's your grandchild? Eh? Could you sing me one of yours? Yeah. Don't See? go breaking now, my heart. Go, go up. Is that right? Yeah. What's the most you've ever done in, uh, in one sitting? A hundred. A hundred? Small ones. Here's your Saskatoon stick. Quebec has their own distinct sticks, I understand. Close enough for jazz. And just keep wrapping it over, same style all the time? Yes. Fine scissor work here, much like my stylist. There you go. There we go, very nice. You like it? I love it. And you done the best you could. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, th I thought you were going to say you've done the best, and then you added that you could. <laughs> That's yeah. OK. I did, I did the best that I could. You know, Mark, it seems like elders share their knowledge by making you do stuff. It's not what you talk about. It's what you do. And I feel like I've learned so much, because when I do something, it's like it becomes part of who I am. And it's the doing that imparts the knowledge, right? Oh, I'm sorry, Don. I was just checking my messages. Oh, don't worry. I was just sharing my deepest feelings and personal experiences, that's all. So any final words of wisdom you want to impart to me before I take my leave? Yes. I think you should put your pants on. I'm sure they're dry now. That's what I like about you, Mark. You know how to cut through the clutter and get right to the heart of things. Yeah, I should put some pants on, shouldn't I? Ooh, nice legs. <laughs>